What's up everyone, I'm Nick Marty and this is the 2017 Paley Fest with The Late Late Show with James Corden. We're going to be talking with Ben Winston, Rob Crabb and James Corden himself, so stay tuned. So I'm here with Mr. Rob Crabb, I'm so excited to have you. Uh, first time at Paley Fest? First time at Paley Fest, yes. So what do you expect? Is this a panel of good questions from everyone out here? I know the tickets are already being... Look it up there. Yeah, look at the crowd up there. Uh, no, we're excited. I mean, we're, we can't believe we're, tomorrow's our two-year anniversary of the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, so to be here just shy of our two-year anniversary is an honor. That's amazing. Uh, we were shocked by the invitation, uh, but thrilled that they extended it. Uh, and so hopefully uh, people will enjoy it. And we I don't know what to expect either. Yeah, no, I'm sure. I'm sure that because people just come out with random questions. Yeah. And I know at first when starting the show, you were worried, you know, people didn't know who James was, even though he's an A-lister yeah. where he's from. Yes. And so at this point, he's become beyond an A-lister in the U.S. Yeah. So how is it going around with this guy? I mean, creating stuff and content for him that everyone wants to be a part of. Every celebrity wants to be in anything that he does. I mean, it's a dream in the sense that uh, we didn't know that if this was going to fail or not. We all rented our houses, rented our cars. Yeah. Thought we might be, I'd be moving back to New York and they'd be moving back to London after six months. Uh, and he was very unknown in America. So uh, seeing sort of the shift in fame for him and uh, that a couple things we've done have resonated with some people. Uh, yeah. It's, it has gone very, very well, but at least it compared to what we thought was going to happen. I, I'm which sure was that I'm back sure home. was a little bit of a worry. And so I know y'all create so many shows and games and yeah. events. What's something that you could tell us that has been scrapped that you thought was an amazing idea? Oh, uh, it's a tough one because we go through a million ideas a week. It seems yeah. like, uh, and we have to Maybe scrap most of them. Um, I didn't think it was a brilliant idea, but we're doing a big NCAA live show uh, okay. after the championship on Monday. Yeah. And uh, one of our writers very emphatically pitched uh, putting basketball hoops on dogs <laughs> and having Chris Paul throw balls at them. Uh, and it came up over and over again, and we said no and no and no. So maybe we're missing a brilliant idea, but I think it's not good optics on television. Yeah, maybe not the best, no, but I'm glad no. you told us about an idea that yeah. happened that we might not see. Yeah. But I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank you. It. Hey, so I'm with Ben Winston. Yes. Now, we recently talked. I actually wasn't going to be here, but I said I got to be here because you're going to be, I want to say lying. hi. He's lying. Please. <laughs> A little bit. So yeah. I'm actually really curious for me because I know you go through so many games and yeah. events that can happen on the show. What's one that was scrapped but you can tell us about that you thought it was a really good idea? Well, we, well I didn't think it was a good idea, but today we got a special show uh, on the 3rd of April because we're coming on after the NCAA yeah. final. And we've got Steph Curry on the show and, and uh, Chris Paul on the show. And uh, one of our writers today pitched an idea where we put a basketball net on a load of dogs okay. and see if Chris Paul can get the ball in the net. And uh, that was an idea that hit the cutting room floor. That, might, that will not be, no no that will not ever be might seen look on television. a little bit bad it's not it's not the it's not the telly show that we want to make uh, yeah, it but, might um, look a little but, weird. but listen we have an amazing group of writers yeah. uh, a phenomenal group of producers working on the show James is a brilliant mind and brain yeah. and we try and do our best every night and create a show that people really enjoy I think we all enjoy it there's so many people so I appreciate nice your time you thank you so much like when we came up with the idea we were so set that it, this was a good idea we just couldn't get anyone to do it <laughs> so that was the hard thing we felt like we've got a bulletproof bit and no one would do it so god bless Mariah Carey for taking a leap carpool karaoke in High Wycombe sure I'd love yeah. to yeah the stars have come 100% we Micklefield. Go, we go Micklefield Loudwater Totteridge then we probably go up Amersham Hill through uh, no 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 not that far up we go through um, Hazelmere through the crossroads down up to Homer Green and then maybe even we, we could carry on to Amersham but that's that's a different town and I don't want to step on any toes but yes 100% cool. stop in the corn market for a McDonald's <laughs> well what would be the difference with the British stars and the American stars if you did carpool karaoke over there well we did one in London with Adele and that turned out quite well so we'll see I don't know yeah, she was amazing. But I just mean, you know, they're a little bit more crude. Like, it could be... Uh, or a little bit more... I don't know. We, yeah, we'll, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We've, we've, we, we did think about doing one there, but that went away, so I don't know. Is there something that you haven't done that's not in the music market that's kind of in your back pocket and you're like, oh, oh no, I have nothing's to do that? A, nothing's in our back pocket. Yeah. If we have an idea, we do it that night. We do, we do like 300 shows a year or something crazy. So, yeah. No. Look, we're always working on stuff. Yeah, we started knocking around an idea today. It will probably come to nothing, but we'll see. Who Bless you. Who would you be your dream? Uh, it would be, you know, I'd love to do it with Taylor. Uh, Taylor, 
I'd love to do it with Taylor. I'd love to do it with Katy Perry. I'd love to do it with Beyonce. I'd love to do it with Barbara Streisand. Oh God, I'd love to do it with Billy Joel. Yeah. I'd love to do it with Paul McCartney. <laughs> that would be quite the super. Car. Be quite a super group, wouldn't it? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank, Thank you so much.